Check Podcasts. Hi, I'm Bruce Williams. I'm the CEO of the Greater Victoria Chamber of Commerce, and this is Chamber Chats. As always, we're coming to you from the podcasting studios of one of our Chamber Champions, Czech Television. Uh, I would like to acknowledge, as always, that I live and work in the unceded ancestral territories of the Lekwungen-speaking nations, the Songhees and the Esquimalt. Chamber Chats is made possible by the support of Island Savings, a division of First West Credit Union, and by C-SPAN Victoria Shipyards, another Chamber Champion. So on Chamber Chats, we talk about business, business with Chamber members. There are some people that are doing really cool, amazing, impacting, powerful things. And very often they are small operations that are doing it because as we all know, small business is the backbone of our economy. So we talk all the time about the importance of local, shop local, support local. We're going to talk today about a company that's going to make it very easy for you to shop local with companies that are located in the greater Victoria area and on Vancouver Island that are maybe smaller operations, niche, if you will, that you may not have heard of. We're going to talk about that with an organization called Because. And Mitch Haas joins me. He is the co-founder of Because. Mitch, how are you? Doing great, Bruce. Thanks for having me. So I want to talk about the name, first of all. So when we see it on screen, which we will shortly, it's it's B-C-A-U-S-E. So it's B-Cause. Tell me about the name. Yeah, so uh, our name comes from the fact that, uh, like you said, we're all about local. Local is incredibly important to us. It's kind of the backbone of our platform. Uh, so BC Local is super, super important to us. And secondary, uh, our cause is to kind of shake up the traditional grocery industry by making it uh, more accessible for everyone and to get uh, local products right to your door. So you put those two together, BC and our cause, you get because. Because, there you go. And of course, throughout the pandemic, we've seen a huge increase in people ordering out, having things delivered. So you're just a little bit of a different model on that. But here's the question. Let's say you're at a party or you're on an airplane or you're in a restaurant and you meet somebody and they say, hey, what's, what do you do? What's your company? What's your answer? You know, I'd like to tell people that we are like a local ethical Amazon. Uh, You know, we work we work with a lot of amazing local vendors, um, mainly in the food and beverage space. uh, But we also have some health and beauty stuff as well. um, And it's about getting it directly to, to your hands and to your door. So the opportunity came up because of the pandemic. Let's a little background too. you have a connection with another one of our chamber champions. In fact, uh, Cold Star. And Cold Star yeah. is a company that's in the business of distributing food around. But tell me about the genesis of this company and how Because came to be. Sure. So, yeah. So, um, my father and my parents started Cold Star Solutions. Um, so, obviously, I'm a second generation grocery industry guy. Um, and uh, our, my fellow co owner, Brendan Fat, uh, his dad started Islands West Manufacturing, uh, which is another large produce wholesaler in the island here. And so we're both two uh, second generation uh, grocery people. And um, Brenda was working for Islands West at the time. And uh, due to COVID, as many other businesses had to pivot, um, you know, they largely service restaurants and a lot of restaurants shut down. Uh, So they, Brenda wanted to come up with a new way to uh, increase sales. And so started to do some direct to uh, home deliveries and it really took off. Um, but he eventually outgrew that space and then realized that this could be his full-time job. Uh, so he was looking for a new warehouse space and he came knocking at Cold Star's door and, uh, me and my dad were just so happy to looking at a very similar project. And so we thought, well, why compete? Let's just do it together. And we formally joined forces. Great. So I think we all realize that our food supply chain is at risk at the best of times because we're on an island, but you've come forward and we're going to talk about this in a couple of minutes though, but a lot of the companies that you deal with are these like micro uber small, funky, cool operations. We're (laughs) we're going to talk about them by name shortly, but, but let's tie it back to COVID. How much did COVID actually have to do with this launch and with how you've continued to do business? Yeah. Like I said, it's a, it's the brainchild. Uh, You know, COVID was obviously awful. Um, but it, it bred some ingenuity um, for, for us. And again, Brendan, that's, that's what he did. He wanted to uh, keep people safe uh, and get groceries into hands uh, without you know, putting anyone at risk. Um, and again, being a pivot for his, his current uh, job. Um, so it came out of COVID, um, but now we're taking it to the next level. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to be using Because, because now I know what you do. So how do I or anyone else go about becoming a client or a customer or a user? 
Yeah, it's super simple. If you've ever shopped on Amazon or any other online platform, it's basically the same thing. You go to our website, shopbecause.ca, and you just click around. So you kind of navigate the uh, grocery aisles, if you will, um, and add to your cart and you simply select what delivery day you want and it'll be there in no time. So you you take it from the location right to this, somebody's door, to wherever they want. That's right. Yeah. So we got a warehouse full of stuff uh, and we pick and pack your order as soon as it comes in. Um, and we get it off to you. So it's super fresh. Okay. Uh, so how do we, who pays for the service? Who's paying you? Yeah. So it's, it's directly by the customer. So, you know, every dollar that uh, is spent on our store uh, helps us keep the lights on uh, and the servers running. Um, yeah. And then we obviously have our, our driver staff and, and Brendan and I, and we're hitting the pavement and doing everything we possibly can in true startup mode. So the, the, the ones we're going to talk about here, they're small operators. They don't have the budget yeah. of a medium or even a large size company to promote themselves and get known and make connections. Uh, how did you find out about these companies that you're working with? Yeah, you know, it's it's really interesting. So again, in, in traditional grocery industry, um, many, if you're in, going to larger chains, they have to be of a certain size um, to be able to get onto a shelf. Uh, and that's mainly because there's only so much shelf space at a grocery store. Um, but of course, you have to also be willing to or be able to uh, meet their their demand, right? Their supply. Um, and because we're at a completely online business, we don't have those same concerns. So we have the ability to take some um, some risk, if you will, and work with vendors of all shapes and sizes. So we've uh, made some cool connections with some awesome organizations, uh, you know, like Island Good, for example. You know, they have a whole network of island-based uh, producers. Um, but then really it is that that pounding of the pavement, it's going to those mixers, it's going to those events. Um, but also our, our producers are really awesome. And I'm, I know we're going to talk about them later, um, but the word of mouth thing in the producer community is huge. They are a small but mighty group. Uh, so everybody knows everybody. And so we get a lot of referrals from other vendors. So we're going to talk about who those vendors are and more about this product. We're going to do that next. Our guest on Chamber Chats today is Mitch Hawes. He's the co-owner of a, an operation called Because. It's a food delivery business. So what you were talking about, you, you take the product direct from the manufacturer or the producer, yeah. and then you put it in a truck and you deliver it to us by taking sort of the middle person out of it. If I'm not mistaken, the way that products end up on grocery store shelves is that the producer buys the shelf space from the grocery store. Is that right? Yeah, it, it kind of varies. Uh, it depends on what size of a, of a brand you're working with. You know, the Kellogg's and the General Mills and the, you know, Cokes and whatever, that's definitely how it works. Um, those smaller vendors, you know, there's, there's a kind of a complicated roadmap depending on what uh, grocery chain you're working with um, to get listed onto the shelf space. But, you know, the, the challenge with it is that you kind of lose control over your product um, once it's on the shelf. And, you know, that's for a multitude of reasons. Uh, and it does work. That, you know, that's not us bashing traditional grocery uh, industries. Um, but for us, it was really important for us to uh, put the control into the vendor's hands. Uh, these small uh, producers, they have to make money. They have to do things that are the most cost-effective ways. And so we allow them to set their shelf price. Uh, they get to decide what works for them. It's not us. Um, and that way we take a, a commission off of each sale, um, that we, is negotiated and is fair. Uh, it's the same across the board for everyone. Um, but they get to de decide what happens to their products because ultimately they're the best champion of their, their stuff. Okay. Uh, we should mention, we're going to, again, dig down deeply into who these Uber local producers are, but you do also deal with some big name brands, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we, we do, uh, you know, our bread and butter are these local producers, but we recognize that uh, at the average consumer needs more than just that hyper local cracker, even though they're really great crackers. You know, when you're doing your grocery shopping, you need everything. You need your produce, you need your milk, you need, you know, your favorite chip brand, whatever it may be. Um, so we didn't want to eliminate those uh, items or else our service isn't as attractive to you. So we have all those, those products as well. Um, but we really try to highlight uh, those local vendors um, to make it, 
and yeah. different. Well, it is fun and it is different. But I, I, if yeah. you look at, like you do, you do alcohol delivery, for example. And if somebody wants, you know, a local craft beer or wine or cider or some, a, a distilled product, you can also send them a bottle of Bacardi rum or a bigger name like that if they want it, right? You bet for a fun Friday night. Come on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so uh, in this universe of people that you deal with, um, how many of them are actually in Greater Victoria? Yeah. So I, I, I... I crunched some numbers and we're about the, the 40% uh, range right now of our local vendor partners. So that's taking out uh, some of those bigger name uh, brands. But of our local partners, um, 40% is uh, based in Greater Victoria. And then beyond that, um, we're looking at uh, about 99% of our local vendors of that pool are based in BC somewhere. Okay. Yeah, because there's some in Vancouver, I understand. Um, yeah, we got a gro- growing membership in, in lower Vancouver. There's a lot of really cool brands over there. Yeah, and what about other other places on the island? Yeah, so we got to like uh, some uh, Cold Creek Roasters, I think we're going to talk about. They're up in Tassos, BC. We got some spice blends uh, from Woodfire Spices in the Gulf Islands, Salt Spring Kitchens, and all sorts of other things uh, from the, the Gulf Islands as well. Tassos, isn't that interesting that there's a producer in Tassos? That's great to hear. But you're making like, great, making great chocolate, might I add. I always have some on my desk. Nice. Okay. Uh, but it's Tofino, it's Duncan, it's Nanaimo, it's Qualcomm Beach, all those kinds of places. Okay. So what's the turnaround time between placing an order online and having it show up at the door? You know what? That's the best thing you get to decide. So we have uh, two services, if you will. Uh, we have free next day delivery, um, six days a week. Uh, Monday through Saturday in the greater Victoria region. And that includes Souk all the way up to Sydney. Um, and then we deliver once a week up into our friends in, in the Nanaimo, uh, Coombs, Qualcomm Beach area. While we grow, we hope to expand that. But uh, you get to decide what day you want that delivery. So you get to decide at checkout. Uh, and a new feature that we just launched two weeks ago is our speedy delivery service. So we recognize our customers told us that uh, a lot of the time, or you just forget to shop online. It's a different way to shop. They're used to just stopping at the grocery store on their way home. We're, we're guilty of that too. Um, so we introduced speedy delivery. So now for $9.99, which is kind of the standard delivery fee for any grocery store, you get our same day rush delivery. Mm. So you can order up to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday. You'll get it the same day. So you can have it in time for dinner. Okay. So I'm, I'm thinking that this is something that I can use or other people can use to do intensely local shopping for the holiday season that's coming up. So if, for example, somebody said, I want to order uh, chocolate from Tassis for my entire family in my office and I need 120 units by the time the holiday, can you then contact the producer and say, you need to ramp it up because I need this money or this many by this time? Are they able to do that? You bet. We we then quickly pick up the phone and we start calling our, our uh, awesome vendor partners. Uh, we've never had a problem. Our vendor partners are super great and they're really quick, you know, and that, that's the joy of working locally uh, is generally we just have to go down the, the block and, and pick it up from them. So the payment online, you just you put a credit card on file or a, whatever. Can you do direct deposit? Can you do interact payments? We just do kind of credit cards right now, but you can use PayPal as well, oh. uh, Shop Pay, Apple Pay, that kind of thing. All right. So next, let's meet some of these Uber local producers on Vancouver Island that we can support. Our guest today on Chamber Chats is um, Mitch Hawes, who is the co-owner of Because, a delivery service focusing on small companies that wouldn't normally have the capacity to be known or market themselves. So I want to get into some specific names here about uh, about things, the categories too. Yeah, I mean, for people who are on a plant-based diet, you can handle that, right? Yes, of course. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all sorts of different diets. We recognize that, you know, if you're going through the grocery store, it can be really challenging to be like, oh, I'm plant-based or I'm gluten-free. I have to now read every ingredient. We make it nice and easy. We have a lifestyle tab on our navigation, so you can just shop by your dietary need or and, and find everything in one click. Yeah, you've got a lifestyle tab on there too, right? That and that yeah. kind of digs down a little deeper. Tell me about that. Yeah, that's just it. You know, we we think it's uh, it should be easy to shop online. It should be easier to shop online than it is to go in person. So we put all those lifestyle types uh, products like gluten free, uh, plant based, um, those types of things, all on. One easy to, to find navigation tab um, to make it super quick. Cool. All right. I have a shopping list here and I have a list of companies that you deal with. And I want to get you to tell us about some of these folks. For example, Snowden House. What is Snowden House? Ooh. Snowden House does some really cool um, dips. 
soup mixes. And they've got these really great beer and cider bread mixes. You just add a can of beer, stir it, add it to the, the oven. Yeah. Okay. And these are all ones that are based in Greater Victoria, by the way. Two, two right. Crows Craft Food. Oh, charcuterie boards. If you like charcuterie boards, you got uh, all sorts of uh, craft mustards, uh, onion and garlic confits, apple chutneys. Amazing for the holidays. Wow. Okay. Witchbury Avenue. What's that? Oh, they're in Esquimalt. They're a block from my house. <laughs> uh, and it's the best smelling stuff you'll ever, you'll ever find. Soaps, bath bombs. Um, they're amazing. So here's a name that we all know. They're actually, they're another of our chamber champions, Spinnakers, who has a whole range of products. But talk about Spinnakers, will you? Spinnakers are some of our best friends. Um, not only do they, we partner with Spinnakers uh, to do our uh, alcohol deliveries. So we work with their spirit merchant store in Vic West. Um, shout out to Caitlin and their crew. They're awesome. Uh, but they also have their own line of sparkling mineral waters and sodas. Uh, that uses the natural uh, mineral water. There's a well under the pub in Dick West. I don't know if you know that. Yeah. They pump that and that natural uh, mineral water goes into their products and they're incredible. Yeah, they are a pretty amazing operation. Uh, this one not only has a cool name, but it has a cool product. Bicycle Pizza. I mean, pizza. Come on. Yeah. Uh, so these guys are super, super fun. Uh, they're, they've got a cafe, uh, Beauregard Commons out in Brentwood Bay. And if you like like wood fire style pizzas, um, but you want to make it at your at your house, these are the pe the pizzas to have. Uh, they're ready in like five minutes. Super quality ingredients. Again, something I always have in my freezer for an easy meal. Okay, tell me about Old Soul Jam. Old Soul Jam. They're exactly what you would expect from a farmers market type vendor. Some of the coolest combinations of jams and spreads out there. Um, Bella and Drew, they're super fun. You probably have seen them out if you go to all the farmer's markets. Um, highly recommend. A, a solid jam. Okay. And another jam is one that's called That's My Jam. Which Tell is me. just a great name. Yeah. That's my jam. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Same thing. Angie, she's really great. Um, some They've got a, 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 what is it? A blueberry Earl Grey, mm. I believe, jam. It sounds different, but on a scone or an English muffin, highly recommend. Solid jam. And you're talking about the owners by name because you know them, but you know that th these are like, this is under 10 employees for a lot of these companies, right? They're just like a oh, crafty thing that they're doing out of their house even. Exactly. A, a lot of them are, yeah, those small local vendors that are still doing the farmer's markets uh, each week. Um, but, you know, they might not have the opportunity to get into traditional retail. So by coming on to Because, they can actually get that, you know, sales all year round and they don't have to uh, hopefully uh, schlub to markets uh, every week, maybe every other weekend. Right. Uh, I'm a kid that grew up in a family that owned a bakery. So I have a soft spot for baking stuff, uh, especially shortbread is a weakness of mine. Yeah. Martha's Delectables make shortbread and other things. Yes, they sure do. And uh, Martha has perfected that recipe. Uh, so it's like a traditional shortbread. You, you might think of it as more of like a, a Christmas cookie, but it's an all year round cookie. And uh, we're actually launching later this week, their orange brandy uh, shortbread, which just saying, that's, yeah. that's mighty fine. And and there really is a Martha, by the way, we'll point There out. really is a Martha. Uh, yeah. Cool name, Singing Bowl Granola. Yeah, Jessica, she's amazing too. She's got a, a kitchen um, just outside of Rock Bay. And again, it's amazing granola. It goes on everything. They've got no grain um, granola too, which is awesome for you know, if you're gluten free and whatnot. Um, a killer product, great for your yogurt parfaits. Yeah, um, they're a chamber member too, as a matter of fact. And the name comes of from the fact they that, that, that they uh, it's called Singing Bowl Granola because they were music teachers or musicians, I believe it is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Cool story. Um, I'm going to try the name here. Maze Nixtamal. Yeah, so so Maze is really cool too. Uh, I believe they have a, a restaurant downtown as well, or a cafe. Okay. Um, yeah, tortillas, some awesome tortillas, some salsas, some mole sauce. Um, amazing. Again, it's super easy, quick uh, meal idea. Just add some meat and cheese. Yep. Got a great taco so or again, salsa. And again, as you can see, these are just really, really small, intensely local companies that do craft product right here. They're made here. The money stays here. Uh, Rootside Bitters. I've had this product, but tell me about that. Yeah. 
Yeah, so root side's really cool too. They actually are also, um, uh, they do wine and aperitifs as well, uh, uh, the same, uh, which we carry as well. Um, but they're kind of like uh, mixes in for like sparkling waters. If you have like a soda stream at home, uh, you can make your own uh, root beer or a rose hip lemonade, which uh, my niece and nephew love. Mm. Highly recommend that one. Great for cocktails, mocktails, that sort of thing. Uh, I'll do a couple more and then we'll wrap it up here. But uh, sure. S- uh, Suribachi Herbals. Yeah, Suribachi is uh, a great story. So they, um, the owner is all about using like traditional uh, Chinese and Asian uh, herbs and medicines uh, to, to take care of your body. So she is uh, one of those lovely people that goes to farmer's markets. And we have all these unflavored things that really help to your, your gut biome and all those fun buzzwords at the moment. Uh, makes you feel really great. And they've got some really great oatmeal uh, mixes as well with superfoods and whatnot for an easy breakfast. And if you want to treat yourself, why wouldn't you treat yourself with treat yourself treats? Tell me about them. Yeah. Treat Yourself Treats is another uh, a kind of a, a secondary business for Jessica at Singing, Singing Bowl. Mm. Uh, she's taken her awesome granola and she covered it in chocolate. I mean, come on. Uh, so there's, they've got peanut butter crunch bars uh, and they've got these caramel cluster. Uh, oh, really, really good. Uh, really clean ingredients as well. Um, delicious treat. Uh, super. Super Cafe. Yeah, so they've got a cafe downtown, I believe on View Street. On View Street, that's uh, right. Yeah, but they also just opened their second location uh, in Esquimalt as well, on Esquimalt Road. So zoom in and see, see the crew there. Um, but yeah, they do, as I believe it's a, a COVID pivot, um, they started to package up their signature um, soups. So we got their frozen soups. So you can have Super Cafe whenever you need. Yeah, because on the, the View Street location downtown, of course, would not have had the volume of workers that were not downtown anymore. So they made that pivot. Yeah. Uh, other companies include Island Nut Roastery, Justo's Dips, Island Eco Pantry, Portofino Bakery, Nature Bee, all of these ones. So within your practice, too, just to wrap this up, you, you're committed to low waste as well, right? You don't, you don't do a lot of excessive food wasting at all. Yeah. So again, we work with all of our, our local um, vendor partners and we have a warehouse. We have all the traditional um, storage things. But as part of a, a, the uh, requirement of being a because vendor is you uh, agree to not um, to donate any product that doesn't sell. Um, we work with some great uh, organizations like the Victoria Rainbow Kitchen Society and Esquimalt. Uh, and we take care of getting that to people because we have more than enough food and it should not be going in the dumpster. It deserves to be eaten, um, and we can feed the community together. It's it's intensely local is the term I like to use for this, but there's lots more to find out about it on the website, which is shopbecause.ca. C-A. Dot C-A. Yeah. Shopbecause.ca. Very local, nicely done. Congratulations. Thanks for what you're doing to support these local producers. Mitch Hawes is the co-owner of Because. And Mitch, thanks for being here. Thanks, Bruce. And that's it for Chamber Chats this time around. I'm Bruce Williams. We'll see you next time.